This is Shane Watson here for PSP Sports. I'm lucky enough to be joined by Kala Salon once again. How are you, Kala? How are you, mate? You all right? All good, thanks. All good, thanks. Even better to be here today. I mean, good. you get those um, uh, British uh, dust-ups every hour and again in boxing, and it really catches the eye of the public, and it gets everyone excited, especially when it's a real 50-50 fight. I mean, we kind of had it a little bit with the Jamie Cox, yeah. but I mean, George Groves was a favourite in that fight, and I think people would believe that as well, although Jamie Cox was still a, a good contender. Yeah. But this is a real 50-50 tough dust-up, and everyone's got their own opinions on the fight. How do you feel to be a part of such a big fight in the UK? I think um, it's, a, it's a fight that, you know, on the top table they refer it to as a throwback. I think, you know, you look at the weight class, and in the big, big fights on the UK soil in this weight class um, over decades, you know, we can look in this decade and look at obviously the Frotch Rose, uh, things you can go back a couple of decades and look at uh, you make senior, you know. Um, so, you know, it, it, it's a weight class that's always thrown up huge fights in the UK, and, then, and I just see that continuing now. But I do think this is one for this generation of fight fans uh, that has the makings. And once again, you know, never oversell sign because they put the stage, you prepare the stage, the fights, at the end of the day, they've got to step up to the plate. Experts, I think nine out of ten, would, you would predict that this is going to be an absolute barnstorm. Just the styles, um, you know. They fit to each other um, when you, when you analyse them, and uh, if it's anything like I expect it to be cracked up to be, then uh, I, think, I think we're all, we're in for a fight that we'll remember for many years. And also, what are you planning to do with the undercard? Is it going to be a massive, like, uh, compact undercard as well? Yeah, of course. We're going to stack the undercard, start announcing things probably next week already on that. Um, you know, uh, that's always part of the World Boxing Super Series is part of it. We do a big undercards and, and, and um, look for, for a big co feature as well with a reserve fight. Obviously, we'll always have a reserve fight there just in case the worst thing should ever happen. Um, you know, I think it's great for, for, the, for the trophy and, uh, to come to Manchester. So, I think, you know, it's a big night, big night for the fans. And also, with the World Boxing Super Series, we've got Callum Smith and Jurgen Bremer. Do you know, you can expect an announcement to be on that and where the fight's going to be? It'll be the next couple of weeks, you know. Um, I, the fight will take place, it's very simple, either in Germany or in England or uh, on mutual soil. So, uh, all, all still being looked at. Um, it's not really the part, my part is I'm running the sporting side of the company, whereas that's more the commercial element to it. Um, you know, they'll pick something that, that, that makes sense for the fans. I think uh, they look at elements of both. I think, I think a neutral thing could be great. Um, on the other hand, I can see the link in with uh, you know, Liverpool being a big fight city on the other hand. You know, you know, to have both semi-finals in the UK. It's also, also maybe they don't like, but really it'll be like ups and sort of downs, sort of analysed and I'm sure they'll come up with a, an amazing location. And also you, you being a Kubrat Pulis promoter as well, um, due to the injury you had to sustain to pull out of the Joshua fight, do you know whether that can currently stand with the mandatory position or we've been... Yeah, it's a better one for my brother, he looks after the team sound and business, but but, uh, but, but, but he will be, uh, he'll be, he'll be back, you know, um, the mandatory position for the Joshua stuff, I'm not sure what the latest is there, no, sorry. And also with the World Boxing Super Series, it's been very successful so far and everything has pretty much gone to plan, yes. well, that's what it seems to have done anyway. Um, is this something that you're going to want to continue to do in the future as well? Yes, yeah, the, the, the idea is not to do it over a season, it's, it's, uh, it's, it's something that should roll, you know. Um, we hope to put up the new weight classes at the start of the year and you know, we're, 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 we're looking at weights already now. And also, I believe Tom Loffler is thinking about putting a super fly tournament uh, ahead, isn't he? And that could be how you fight against the fight that recently beat Jamie Condon um, for the IBF title. Who's, who's looking to do that? Uh, Tom Loffler at a super fly tournament in February. He was talking about, uh, has been spoken about a lot recently. Not a lot of it, no. Do you think um, that a lot of other promoters off. could be looking at doing these kind of formats as well? Um, yeah, but we're not, I'm not, this is not a Team Salon product. It's a product of modern times. Group and uh, and highlight ent event and entertainment uh, two stock listed companies. Um, I don't know if there'd be any stock listed promoters. We have a very small share in it, but um, you know this is a project a little bit. I think you know if there's external financing come in, it's not the sort of thing that you could in normal boxing just stay make up tomorrow and say I fancy doing a tournament.
tournament. It doesn't work like that. And how, how hard is it but to yeah. get tournaments like this together? It took us about four years. You know, it was some pretty serious shareholders. And also, a lot of people were saying um, that it's a great idea to do World Boxing Super Series, but they doubted about injuries and stuff, and, they, and how hard it would be to go to plan. How well has it gone to plan for you since you organised it? I don't know, well, we've had eight good, good events, you know, great events. Partly very good fights, super fights, and, and a couple of fights which are, you know, it, it hasn't been a fight which hasn't had some talking points around it, so I think we've been very lucky from the sporting aspect. We've been in some great cities, we've had some great crowds, amazing productions, um, something that's added to the sport boxing for sure. And also have you got a fight prediction ahead of uh, George Rose and Chris Eubank Jr? I don't do predictions in the Super Series, I'm just here to put the fights together. Okay, well thanks for talking to PC Sports again no today, box, and we'll catch up with you ahead of fight night.